to. In this part, we'll be learning how to create pages. Um, so it's actually very simple. We're just going to create a new file inside this pages folder. And for the demo purposes, we'll create a simple about us page. So I'll name this file about. I'm going to import head, which is a component of Next.js. So head is used to define pages, metadata, like for example, title, any scripts we want to import, they go into the head. We covered this briefly in the first part. Check it out if you haven't watched it. And also, yes, we import style suite, we import any scripts and define the metadata. So let's create this simple functional component. We always name it the same name as the name of the file. And I'm going to wrap it in like a simple container class. I'll add the head first. I'll give it a title um, just about us. And I'll link the style sheet we created. So this is just the metadata here. I'll add a header so we'll actually see how it's looking like. So um, we created the page and the way to access the page is to use the URL and add um, the path to the name of the page. So in this case it would be about. And this should load our new component. As you can see here, the title got updated because we define it here and we can see the header over here. All right, this is all for creating the page. The next thing we will do is we will create, um, so because this is a Next.js tutorial, we're not going to be creating a database. We will be using a Movies API that is a publicly available API and it's free. So what we just need is to go ahead and create the account with their website and fetch the API key so we can access the sample movie data. So the way I did this is I used this, I'm going to add the link in the description down below. So this is the database website and their documentation. Um, and as it says here, you have to go and click the API link. So I already did create an account, so I'm not going to do that right now, but I'll show you guys um, steps on how to do it. So it gives us invalid permissions because we are not logged in. So let's go ahead and log in. So to create an account, um, Oh, you click here to get started and I'm also going to add the link for sign up page in the description, but I'll just log in using my credentials for now, creating environment variables because we will save that key as an environment variable in our project folder. Um, so make sure to go to the part three and see you guys later.